If you were gonna delay your game to September, Cyberpunk, delay that shit to February and come out on the PlayStation 5. You no balls have an ass game. The Last of Us Part 2. And your pretentious ass Neil Druckmann. Have the balls if you were gonna delay it so long. So long. Make it for the PlayStation 5. This news has me has me smoking a cigarette. I don't normally even smoke in my videos. Let's get into why Cyberpunk 2077 is delayed. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just found the news. It totally ruined my flow, what I had going on. Announced the five-month delay. Let me hear the reason as to why you need to delay your game for five months. Okay, Final Fantasy VII, one month delay for polish. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2, three and a half months delay for polish. Let me hear why you need five months CD Projekt Red. And the crazy thing is, I predicted this earlier today. I woke up like, see, this game is getting delayed. I want to make a video on it. And sure as shit. Another apology thing. This little apology thing is getting way more prevalent. We have important news regarding Cyberpunk 2077's release date we'd like to share with you today. Okay, CD Projekt Red, one fucking said it. One fucking second while I just... Try to calm myself. We are currently at a stage where the game... I, I can't read that. Okay, here we go. Let's make this a little bigger. We are currently at a stage where the game is complete and playable, but there's still work to be done. Of course, there's always work to be done. Has any of these people heard of, um, don't, like, overwork your work? Like, when an artist paints a picture, you don't want to overpaint it, because you end up fucking it up. Night City is massive. I was gonna mention that. Full of stories, content, and places to visit, but due to the sheer scale and complexity of it all, we need more time to finish playtesting. Bull fucking shit. I, I, I want to cut this and start and, and give you the real reason why this game got delayed. Um, it's going to take a little second to try to explain it and set it up, but this is a bullshit. You need more time to play test. Again, another game that had total playability basically a couple months ago when they were showing off the game. People play it. People saw it. People loved it. Same thing with The Last of Us. People played it. People saw it. People loved it. But all of a sudden now, we got to do some more work. What are these games afraid of? I believe these games are playing tag. I'm going to tell you why. They're playing tag with each other's release dates. Uh, duh. These games are getting delayed because of release dates. They do not want to compete with each other. In every other sport, you always have two people battling, right? Basketball. Two people battling. Cyberpunk does not want to go head to head in April, which it would have done with the now Final Fantasy 7 pushback. The Last of Us got delayed because it did not want to go ahead with Final Fantasy 7. I said this to my friends on PlayStation when I was playing with them with Apex when I heard the dates initially late February for The Last of Us Part 2. I'm like, why would that game want to compete with the biggest game coming out? Damn near Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It wouldn't. So it pushed itself back into a date where it has nothing to compete with. Same thing with Cyberpunk. Because if it pushes it three months, guess what Cyberpunk competes with now? It competes with The Last of Us Part 2. But you push it five months, another two months. Notice the two month intervals, right? The two month intervals between these super massive titles. Well, two and a half months and it, it, it's so sickening that these games do not want to compete with each other in the last generation of PlayStation 4 games. The biggest regret these games have is not coming out for the PlayStation 5. And I challenge all of you to rethink uh, what you think about competition in video games. They all want to be that crowning moment on the PlayStation 4, the last run. Because the PlayStation 5, which, if, if I'm going to make a prediction, I think it's going to get delayed. I do not think it's coming out next this Christmas season. Regardless, we're really looking forward to seeing you in Night City. I'm putting this out because this is bad for me. Thank you for your ongoing support. Let me show you what I actually intended to show you 
for my predictions and why these games actually got delayed. Then I will talk about do I believe these delays and the reasons for their delay. I had said previously that I do believe Final Fantasy VII's delay as being the most legit. Why? Because it's only a month and it knows it's not competing with anything else. Final Fantasy VII could give a shit if Cyberpunk comes out a day before it. It's still a worldwide massive game. It's going to be a, a top seller, even if it's shitty. It could care less. Games that care about the dates, like a Cyberpunk 2077, like a Last of Us Part 2, then you see the delays. It's all because they do not want to compete with Final Fantasy 7. Or, let me rephrase that, it all started with the fact that they did not want to compete with Final Fantasy 7. And Final Fantasy 7 said, fuck it, Last of Us is coming out at the end of February, I'm dropping my game the first week of March. Sure as shit. Last of Us delays. Then Final Fantasy's like, uh, you know what? Let's spend another month on it. Why not? Who cares? We should get our global release thing ready. Cool, cool, cool. CD Product Red sitting there like, shit. The Last of Us got delayed. And that's when we were supposed to come out. Like two days prior. You know what? Let's delay it. Everyone's already been hit with delays. We might as well do it too because I'm not competing with The Last of Us Part 2. Let's get to the facts here. Let me show you in the calendar form what's going on. All right, so let me tell you what is really going down and how all these delays really got started. Cutting out the bullshit that people would want you to believe. February 2020th. I'm only gonna talk about three games here. Screw all the other games because these are kind of the biggest deals. February 21st, The Last of Us Part Two was announced to be released. I believe it was the first game of these three to be announced with a release date, the 21st of February. Let's get into the, the big daddy of all the games that really caused all this movement, Final Fantasy VII, and why I believe Final Fantasy VII the most. Then the big hitter comes out to play. March 3rd, Final Fantasy VII Remake was supposed to come out. That is a week after The Last of Us 2. Now, let me remind you the successes of Outbreak Day. Everything going Naughty Dog's way, presumably. The hype, the highest. Final Fantasy VII gets dropped for the third. That hype dies. I myself am quoted as saying, why are those release dates so close? Why would The Last of Us come out a week before Final Fantasy VII? Why would it compete? Then I should have saw this. I should have made a video on it and talked about it. However, I didn't, though those were my thoughts. This gets dropped. Now, let's keep moving forward. So we have this little battle, because that's a battle, a week later, Two, two, two huge games in a week. Now, there are tons of games, of course, but these are huge games. Let's not kid ourselves into saying that these aren't two of the biggest titles coming out. Oh, disregarding those other things on this April 20, so we're fast forwarding now. Final Fantasy VII, remember, was supposed to come out on March 3rd. The date for Cyberpunk was April 16th, a month later. Uh, actually more than a month okay that's fine you know that's enough time for you to play one game and move on to another and actually get into the game and do everything and you know, that's definitely enough time um but that's not the case see after the last of us part two delay final fantasy 7 said okay uh you know no competition whatever let's delay our game to the 10th citing as the last of us did quality and polish issues now i do believe final fantasy 7 it's only a month delay we're not talking that long here in fact it's the shortest out of all the delays so cyberpunk team realizes that final fantasy 7 gets delayed to the uh, 10th of april which their date is the 16th this is actually less than a week uh between again two out of the three bigger titles of this year so we had the, the weak switch between The Last of Us and Final Fantasy 
right? The, the 21st to the 3rd. Then we got Final Fantasy, then Cyberpunk, the 10th to the 16th. That didn't work for Cyberpunk. And I wish I got this video out way sooner about my prediction about this getting delayed. Cyberpunk then delays itself all the way to September. I didn't even make a freaking thing for that because that's five months after than when it was supposed to come out. Quite frankly, the games don't want to compete to, uh, together. And look, Resident Evil is supposed to come out the 3rd of April. You think Final Fantasy VII gives a shit? You think they care at all? Hell no, man. I, I think this is a weak move by Cyberpunk, and I think it's a weak move by The Last of Us to alter your schedule around Final Fantasy VII. I don't care if you're all friends. I don't care if you're all Sony. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. I care about the healthiness and competition of gaming. Going out there and picking a game because that is the best game available to you to buy. I want to see those sales. I don't want you to be like Nintendo Switch. You come out with your first console first and you come out with Zelda. Clearly you have nothing to compete with in the field. Your only other opposition was Horizon Zero Dawn, a Sony exclusive for game of the year. I don't want to see that kind of shit because it's not fair. It, it, to someone who's real, likes competition, it doesn't promote that. And you two companies so afraid of Final Fantasy, you guys could have been the ones to knock them off their perch. Of course you wouldn't have, like I said before, Final Fantasy VII is too huge for both of those titles put together, honestly. Uh, so what do you think? Do you think the reasons that you've been told why their delay is bullshit? Or do you find yourself believing a little sliver of what I'm talking about, the lack of competition, and I've given multiple reasons across many videos. It, it, the, the competition, you don't want to compete with Final Fantasy VII. The game's just not ready at all. The Last of Us, something's wrong with it. Three month delay, when a game gets delayed, there's usually something wrong, whether it be business or the game itself. Usually they will never tell you it's a business thing. They will always tell you that they're working on the game to make it this or that. So delays are not good. I don't care what nobody says. Delays are not good things. They end up being good things. However, a delay is never a good thing. Well, they potentially, hopefully, end up being good for the game, right? Because you would hope that the things that they need to fix get fixed. However, that's if you believe the game is already broken in some way. We need to change our, our idea of delays. Uh, I, I gave those two reasons. I, I gave uh, it, it's total, total BS. Um, as well as just being a reason uh, delaying your game for the simple fact that why the hell is there no content? Final Fantasy 7 at least has a demo out there. I don't hear or see anything about Cyberpunk dropping a demo and or The Last of Us dropping a demo. So again, on the side of Final Fantasy 7 here, thanks for the content. The demo got hacked by some people played it. You know, I didn't, I don't care, whatever. I don't, I don't really care less about the demo. It's the fact that it's content and it's out there. So that's another point for Final Fantasy VII. 2020 is the year of delays. I'm so sorry about the video this time. It was not my content at all uh, for it to be end up this way, but I'm glad it did uh, because I, I want to give the real out there and there's a lot of bullshit floating around. Play testing some more. You're done. The game is done. And oh, and the the coup de gras of the reasons why these games got delayed, and the biggest reason, again, why Final Fantasy VII wins is because Final Fantasy VII is in installments, so it has an opportunity to showcase itself fully on the PlayStation 5. The Last of Us Part Two and Cyberpunk do not have. They don't get to do that unless they remake and remaster and do and re-release their game again cross-platform, which I am totally against. If you were going to delay your game to September, Cyberpunk, delay that shit to February and come out on the PlayStation 5. You no balls have an ass game. The Last of Us Part 2 and your pretentious ass Neil Druckmann have the balls if you were going to delay it so long so long make it for the playstation 5 i'm gk it's been another episode of the talk show thanks for coming through keep your head up out there when things get tough uh always try to go for what you gotta go for i don't i don't have a good sign out just just roll the outro this is
sickening. I can't make this stuff up. I had a huge prediction for you all that Cyberpunk 2077 was going to get delayed. I went to make my video. I looked it up. And I knew it was going to get delayed. That was why I was going to make this video prediction. Seven hours ago, it got delayed to September. I'm going to tell you the real reason why. 